ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monster Jam! Master of Disaster coming out here onto the course, about ready to start his time trials run. First gonna have to go through an RII check as all trucks will have to go through, and then he will be able to take off on his time trials run. As you can see, Master of Disaster passing the RII test and now staging for time trials. Let's see what he can do. Master of Disaster being able to put down a 10.80 in time trials. We're gonna have to see how long that'll hold up here in this competition. Our next competitor looking to beat the set time of Master Disaster here in time trials, Rick Swanson in Obsession. Gonna line up for that RII check and get time trials started here. Obsession able to pull out a 10.60, your new leader in time trials competition. Our next competitor coming out here onto the arena floor, Matt Cody in Electric Blue. Our next truck up for time trials competition, Obsessed, driven by Eric Swanson. He's getting ready for that remote ignition interrupter switch check. It looks like the truck successfully shut off from that RII check. He is now going to stage up for time trials competition here. Eric Swanson with a bad bounce at the end of the race. Gonna keep it off the wall, but not gonna be able to save the truck. He will, however, be taking the lead with a 10.25. Next truck ready for time trials competition, it's Kristen Anderson in Gravedigger. Kristen Anderson coming out near the middle of the pack here tonight due to lack of points this season, but she's looking to make up some points here tonight.
Dristan Anderson going over in a big way here in time trials here tonight. We're waiting on the time. It looks like it's a 10.65. Not quite going to be able to take the lead here. She's going to have to look for some points in donut competition. Now waiting to see if Kristen's truck will refire after that roll. It looks like she's got it fired back up and she's going to take that thing back into the pits to get it ready for the next competitions here tonight. Zane Ratu in the Stinger Monster Truck, so far in the lead of Grave Digger on points. Getting ready for the RII check and then the race itself. It looks like Zane Ratu in the Stinger Truck is having some electrical issues. The RII is not working on that truck. As you can see the frustration from Zane, he is not going to be able to compete in time trials. He's going to have to come back in donuts and make up some points. Next up for time trials competition, it's Cody Saucier in the beautiful Monster Energy Monster Truck. Blistering fast pass from Monster Energy, but not enough to take the lead from Eric Swanson and Obsess. Monster Energy going to have a 10.28, going to take second place here in time trials so far. Your last competitor for time trials out here tonight also happens to be the season points leader so far, Cam McQueen in Canadian Carnage. Very fast pass from Cam McQueen, fast enough to take the lead at 10.05. Your new leader and winner of Time Trials competition, Cam McQueen in Canadian Carnage. Our next competition here tonight at Monster Jam will be the Donut Competition. Starting us off will be Buddy Young in Master of Disaster. And it looks like Master of Disaster's score will be a 7.68 to start things off here in the donut competition. Your next competitor in donuts will be Rick Swanson in Obsession. Rick Swanson in Obsession getting close to Cyclone territory there. Looks like his score is going to be an 8.29, enough to put him in the lead here in Donut Competition tonight. Next in our lineup of trucks out here tonight, Matt Cody in Electric Blue.
Matt Cody unable to get all the donuts he wanted to get here tonight due to overheating. The score is going to be a 6.8. Not quite enough to take the lead. Eric Swanson in Obsessed able to grab second place in time trials here tonight. Let's see what he can do for some donuts. Swanson laying down some really good donuts out here tonight. What did you fans think? Let's find out. An 8.78 for Eric Swanson in Obsessed. He is going to shoot into the lead after that run. Briston Anderson and Gravedigger looking to make up some points here in the donut competition. Let's see what she can do. Kristen Anderson able to get that thing into some cyclones and up onto two wheels, keeping it from going over with a score of 9.12. She is going to move way into the lead. Zane Ratu seemingly fixed those electrical problems that he had in time trials, and now he's going out for donuts. Let's see what he can do. Zane Ratu in Stinger trying to hold on to those donuts as long as he possibly could, even though he was overheating. It looks like his score is going to be an 8.94, moving him into the second place in the donut competition so far. Cody Saucier in Monster Energy making it into the top three for time trials. Let's see what he can do for donuts. Monster Energy on the two wheels in donut competition. It looks like it's going to earn him an 8.99 in score, moving him into second place in the donut competition. Our final competitor for donut competition, your winner of time trials here tonight, Cam McQueen in Canadian Carnage. Cam McQueen going over in Canadian Carnage a little early on his donut competition run. However, he's going to score a 9.58 and be tonight's winner for your donut competition here at Monster Jam. Our next competition of the night will be Two Wheel Skill. Our first competitor out here on the track will be Buddy Young in Master of Disaster. Master of Disaster with three great wheelies here in Two Wheel Skill. His score is going to be a 7.88, and he's going to set the pace for tonight's Two Wheel Skill competition. As Buddy Young pulls that truck off the track, you got to wonder what's going through his mind because the next competition he's going to be in is Freestyle. 
Your next competitor for two-wheel skill will be Rick Swanson in Obsession. Rick Swanson not quite going to be able to get everything he wanted out of that truck and two-wheel skill here tonight. The result's going to be a 7.13 for his score. Not quite going to be able to get the lead from Master of Disaster. Our next truck out for three hits and two wheel skill is going to be Matt Cody in Electric Blue. Matt Cody getting the most out of his two-wheel skills hits as he could with a score of 9.23. He's going to shoot into the lead. Matt Cody always been known for his versatility on two wheels. Going to be able to take the lead. Let's see how long he can hold it throughout this competition. The next truck up for two-wheel skills will be Eric Swanson in Obsessed. Two wheelies and a moonwalk from Obsessed. Let's see what the judges thought of that run. Not enough. A 7.84 is not going to be taking the lead here for Obsessed, but a good run nonetheless.
Kristen Anderson and Gravedigger not too happy with the scores she got in the donut competition. Coming out here in two wheel skills to prove a point. Kristen Anderson with two rapid fire sky wheelies and a moonwalk attempt is going to get a score of 7.37. Not quite going to move into the lead, but looking pretty good on points so far compared to what she was at the beginning of the event. Zane Ratu in Stinger looking to make up some points in the two wheel skills competition. Let's see what he can do. Zane Ratu first having trouble in time trials, now having trouble in two wheel skill with a score of 6.01. He is not going to be able to move into the lead. In fact, he is at the very bottom of the bracket currently. Flipping that truck back over a little bit of damage, but it doesn't look like enough to keep him from freestyle. And that's where we will be seeing him next. One of the founding fathers of two wheel skills, Cody Saucier in Monster Energy. About to come out here for his three hits and two wheel skills. Let's see what he can do. Cody Saucier and Monster Energy not able to save his truck after a bad bounce on the nose. Let's see what his score is going to be. A 9.18, not enough to take the lead for Matt Cody in Electric Blue, but very, very close, and he is in second place at this very moment. I'm going to flip that truck back over. Nothing but cosmetic damage. Cody Saucier is definitely going to be able to make it back into freestyle, and that is where we will see him next. So far, Cam McQueen has taken two of the competitions out here tonight. Will he be able to take three or maybe even four? There's only one way to find out. Let's see what he can do for two wheel skills.
That last hit launching him straight up into the air and hard down onto the nose. The score is going to be an 8.97. He's going to move him into the third place. He is not going to be able to take all three of these competitions out here, but there is still one more competition to go, and we are moving straight into that competition right now. Now would also be a very good time to tell you that Matt Cody in Electric Blue is your two-wheel skills winner of the night. Coming out here for the first freestyle of the night, it is Master of Disaster driven by Buddy Young. Buddy Young and Master of Disaster throwing that equipment around like a pro. He's going to get a score of an 8.60 to set the pace of freestyle out here tonight. A really good freestyle, a nice save, losing the front clip, but other than that, no damage to the truck and a beautiful freestyle. Rick Swanson been having a pretty great showing out here tonight so far. Let's see what he can do for the last competition of the night. An amazing sidewall save from Rick Swanson in obsession, but really close to the wall, gonna result in an RII. It looks like they started the truck back up though, and he's gonna start back up. The time will start on the first hit, there it is. Rick Swanson with some great celebratory donuts there after his run. He knew that was a good one. With a score of 8.39, he's not quite going to be able to make it into the lead, though. Part of me thinks that it might be a little bit of that momentum bust after the freestyle, or in the middle of the freestyle, but a really good run from Rick Swanson there in obsession. He's not going to be able to take it home tonight.
Next up for freestyle is your two wheel skills winner, Matt Cody in electric blue. Matt Cody in electric blue with a pretty solid run, now waiting on the scores. A score of 7.94 is not going to move him into the lead. A really nice run from Matt Cody, just not going to be able to do it here tonight in freestyle. Eric Swanson driving obsessed was able to take second place in time trials tonight. Let's see what he can do here in freestyle for you fans. And it looks like the risk outweighed the reward here for Eric Swanson here tonight. Going to crash a little early in freestyle. Now waiting on the scores. 8.50. Just shy of taking the lead from Master of Disaster here tonight. He had some huge air. He had a really good save and a save attempt. Just got RII'd before he could really put his foot into it. Nicely done from Eric Swanson in Obsessed. Kristen Anderson in the Grave Digger coming out here with not too much success tonight, but looking to change that here in freestyle.
And with 20 seconds left on the clock, Christian Anderson is going to get a bad bounce. And a score of 6.92, the lowest score in freestyle here tonight. Unfortunately, the bad luck continues for Christian Anderson and Gravedigger. Going to have to wait for the next event to see if they can do any better in points. Speaking of bad luck, Zane Ratu in the Stinger Monster Truck gonna try and turn their luck around here in freestyle. Reverse move off of the pod, some two-wheel skills, and some great air is going to result in an 8.48 for Zane Ratu out here tonight. Not quite going to be able to take the lead, but a good score in freestyle is going to average out around the same as everybody else with an 8. Cody Saucier not very happy with the two-wheel skills scores is coming out here trying to make something happen so he can get some more points up there and take over Cam McQueen's spot as the season leader. Cody Saucier with an amazing last ditch effort sidewall save in the middle of that run wasn't enough to give him the lead. Score of 9.17, excuse me, that is definitely enough for the lead. Cody Saucier is your new leader here in the freestyle competition. Cam McQueen already has a double down locked in. Will he be able to take three events here tonight of the four? We're gonna find out right now.
Canadian Carnage with a lot of momentum and a lot of variety throughout that run. Was it enough to take the lead? A 9.24, that is going to be enough. Cam McQueen taking three of the four events here tonight. A 9.24 is going to make him the winner of Freestyle.